Thank you for being here. My name is Erin Brockovich, and not Julia Roberts. <laughs> you have symptoms. You have issues. You want to be heard, but you're going to be told it's safe. You're going to be told not to worry. Well, that's just rubbish. We often find out five and ten years down the road after you were told it was safe. Oh, oops, Houston, we have a problem. Be vigilant, hold your ground. We're going to give you as much information as we can. And like I said, some of it you might not want to hear. It might surprise you. It could scare you. But now you can know more so you're prepared better, so you can plan better as we move forward. Because nobody, even us, is not going to have every answer for you today. So here's the groups in Ohio, right across the, the border. There's a bunch of groups in Pennsylvania. My encouragement to you is get tested. If it says you don't have anything, great. You've got the peace of mind of knowing. If it says you have something, you now have an objective medical basis for what's known of a fear of cancer. It looks like a sea of skin and tattoos. These images released by El Salvador's government shows the transfer of about 2,000 inmates stripped to their shorts and with their heads shaved to what's been dubbed the country's new mega prison. Just opened, it's believed to be the largest prison in the Americas with a capacity for 40,000 people, and it's the latest step in a controversial crackdown on crime that's caused the country's prison population to soar. Human rights organizations have reported that innocent people have been caught up in the law enforcement campaign. That includes dozens, they say, who have died in police custody. Last year, the country's president asked Congress for emergency powers to temporarily suspend some constitutional rights after a massive spike in murders attributed to gang crime includes that arrests can be made without a warrant and detainees no longer have a right to a lawyer. Private communications of all citizens can also be accessed by the government. Since then, about 64,000 suspects have been arrested. Murder reports fell about 57% last year.